Hey y'all, hey, Amanda here, and today I'd like to do my very last ever Birchbox unboxing with you guys. I will be canceling Birchbox after this month. Um, it worked out really well because after I reviewed these products, I have $30 worth of points and I can get a $30 Paula's Choice product I've been eyeballing that's on the website. So that works out really well. And since I can't select whether or not I'm receiving all cruelty free products or not from Birchbox, I decided it's time to let them go. So this box is really cute. It has an ombre thing going on from the tealish blue down to this. Yellow and then the yellow. Oh, excuse me, it's like yawning. Oh, under box is yellow too, and it says "Say Yes, Birch Box." So I guess that is the theme this month. Say yes, and then there's the information about a giveaway, and on the back is all the information about the stuff I'm getting. And so let's see what is in here. Oh, it looks like there's a big contest or something going on, so there's that. And opening this, I'm already pretty annoyed. So let's just talk about the annoying thing first. Let's talk about this headband. Why the hell is Birchbox sending me a headband? And why does it look like it's meant for a six-year-old? I don't know if that's really even going to fit around my head. This does not look sturdy. This knot, like it's going to hold anything at all. So this is pretty disappointing and stupid and does not belong in a birch box. So that's my opinion on that. Next item. I believe this is the item I chose um, when you get to select one sample monthly or the curated box. And this is the Dermaclear Micro Water. It removes makeup and impurities, tones and brightens, purifies, purifying effects of hydrogen mineral water. So I think this is just like one of those, I don't know, like thermal waters or something. I don't know, but I wanted to, to try it because I think I had tried the other two products they were offering. So there we go. That's that. And how cute is that little bottle? Unfortunately, I do not believe Dr. Jarrett is cruelty free though, so that sucks. Next is a pencil. This is from Marcella. It's hypoallergenic, perfume free. It is a waterproof eyeliner in the color Blue Lagoon. And it does not say anything on here about whether they are cruelty free or not. But this color is gorgeous. You'll have to, um, just deal with me. I've got my Ipsy swatches on the hand, but let me go ahead and put this on here. This is a really beautiful kind of sea blue, just a touch of green in there. That is a gorgeous color, so that's really pretty. That's cool. And this is so cute. Look at this cute little sample. So adorable. This is from Kerastas Reflection. It's the Chroma Captive System Capture Rinse Out? I have no idea. From L'Oreal Paris? I I don't understand what this is. It's a mask. Okay. It's a mask. And since it is made by L'Oreal, it is not cruelty free. It smells nice though. And I mean, a, a mask this small I'll maybe get two uses out of the most. I have a lot of hair. Even though it's much shorter now, it's still a lot of it. So, yeah, uh, we'll see how this goes. Hair masks are kind of one of those things where it's like, either it works or it doesn't. You don't know until you've tried. Now we have a little envelope pouch, so let's open this up and see what we've got going on inside. Oh, are there two items? There are two items in here. So first is the Taka Eau de Parfum Bianca. So I have never smelled the Bianca fragrance from Taka. So let me, if I can get it out of here. Okay. Inspired by tea time in Italy, Bianca opens with a light, sparkling citrus blend of lemon, opor, orpor, and mandarin, fresh green tea, and rose petal blooming. What? Fresh green tea and rose petals bloom, leaving a dash of musk and sugar to linger on the skin. Let's smell it. Oh, 
Yeah, I'm definitely getting the lemon and the mandarin. And you can kind of smell a little underlying tea, but I don't smell rose petals, must or sugar, but I guess that is some some of the scents that comes out when it dries down. So while I do not like getting fragrance samples, at least that one's not terrible and it's packaged cute, but it's still a fragrance sample, so ugh. Then the last thing here is from Kula. It's the SPF 50 Sport Classic Sunscreen in Fresh Mango. Ugh, why do they have to put scent in these things? So... Organic Skin Care SPF 50 Plant Protection Moisturizer. Is this meant for the face or the body? It doesn't say. But Kula is cruelty free and it looks like, oh no, there is some alcohol in here. That stinks. But I'll give it a try anyway just because it's sunscreen and it's so hard to find a sunscreen that does not contain alcohol anyway. So I'm a little more forgiving when it comes to um, sunscreens and alcohol. But yeah, Kula is a great brand for sunscreen. And I think Kula is the brand that put out that cheaper brand at Target, Bay Republic or something. So I, I've used the, my sample of that. I, it's alright. I'll talk more about it in my empties video. But yeah, I wish this wasn't scented, but I'm going to give it a try. Right? actually open it and see how strong that fragrance is. I can't tell. I'll have to let you guys know once I start using it. So that's that. Overall, not the most exciting birch box to be going out on. I can't say it's really going out on a bang. But I guess I, I do, I, I'm excited to tr use the Kula sunscreen. This is beautiful. I picked this out myself so I can't be mad about it. And, you know, always fun to try a new hair mask. So, not so bad. The fragrance sample, it smells nice but it's not exciting. It's a freaking fragrance sample. And this hairband, like what the fuck is this? Are you serious? What is this? This is bullshit, Birchbox. You don't send me that shit. Oh, wait, don't send me anything ever again, because I'm canceling. I did really love getting Birchbox. I think Birchbox I liked way better than Ipsy, personally. Even though this month, Ipsy kind of took it for me. I liked the Ipsy bag better. Um, oh, poor Austin's in the bedroom coughing. Poor guy. Yeah, so that's that. Um... I'm going to probably look into cruelty free subscription boxes. I don't know if I'm going to jump right into one right now because I do want to use a lot of things up. I'm really trying to stay strong to that mission and stick to it and use things up. I have enough stuff. I don't need more. So I'm not going to hop right onto another subscription boat, you know. And um, I, I think it's good that I'm stopping this. Not only because that cruelty free isn't an option, but because... Like, who needs these many samples of things? I mean, they're nice for travel, but, like, just sitting around, they take up a lot of space. Like, because I like to actually put my samples out where I would actually practically use them during the day instead of just shoving them away in, like, a, a drawer or something so that they do get used. But they do take up so much space when you keep them out with everything else that you use. You know what I mean? So, bittersweet, but I, I could say I'm happy with the decision to really cancel birch box and ipsy so if you guys enjoyed this video then give it a thumbs up and if you'd like to stick around for a while hit that subscribe button if you have any comments or questions leave them down below and i'll talk to you guys later bye